Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. This soap is going to be a Halloween one. It is one of two that I am doing with my PVC pipes as the mold. So I want to make the embeds inside of the soap different shapes. This soap was inspired by broomsticks and cauldrons. So the first part of this soap that I'm going to make is hopefully going to look like a cauldron shape. So I'm going to pour in my lye solution that also has Tessa silk in there and sodium lactate into my oils that have been melted down and left at room temperature. My coconut clay is in there as well as my kaolin coconut clay. Hello. Coconut milk and my kaolin clay is in there as usual. And so I'm just going to give this a little whirl and I'll show you what I'm doing with my PVC pipes. So I've got that at a light trace and I'm going to pour some of it off into this little container that I've put some marcasite mica in and that is from Soapbox Micas and that's just to give it a little bit of swirl or some sort of pattern inside of the soap. The big bucket, I am putting in some black, ac <laughs> black oxide powder into it because we're going to make the cauldron a solid black with a little bit of that. That marcasite is very shimmery, it's a little gray, it's kind of in between a gray, silver, and black. So that'll make a nice swirl. I'll mix my colors in um, and then I'll add my fragrance. So the fragrance I picked out for this is called Maplewood and Vanilla, and that is from Crafter's Choice. I ordered it off of Wholesale Supplies Plus, and I'm going to split it up into each one of these guys. There are notes of pumpkin, amber, maple woods, and tonka bean in this, and it is sadly discontinued off of Wholesale Supplies Plus's website. It smells really good. I don't know if you can get it off of other um, sellers, but if you can find it, it is, it is so good. It does have 3% vanillin in it, so it might discolor if you use colors like white or you know lighter colors that it, it might not uh, turn out the colors that you wanted to. But the fact that I'm using a dark color here, like the blacks and the grays, I don't think it's going to matter. But I'm going to mix it in and pour it into my bowl, and I'm hoping this gray will kind of look like smoke. That is what I'm going for. So we'll do a little in the pot swirl, and we'll pour it into the PVC, PVC molds, and we'll let that sit for 24 hours, and I'll come back and cut it all up and make the rest of the soap. So in goes our billowing smoke color. Just plop that all in there. I'm not going to scrape it all out just in case I need some for the bottom of this. I'm going to get it a little twirl in there and get my PVC pipes over here. And so if they are ready to go, I've lined them with parchment paper so nothing sticks and I'm just going to pour this in. I'm going to alternate to make sure those colors go into each one of these evenly. And that is it for today. And then I'll bring you guys back when I make the rest of the soap tomorrow. So to get the shape that I want, that cauldron shape that I want, I'm going to cut this long ways and just take off the top of this to make it look like a bowl. Now, I don't have a log or a soap, soap log splitter, so I am improvising. If I had the right cutter, it would definitely make this job a lot more practical, but it's gonna work. So, this is what the, the bottom half of the cauldron shape it's going to look like and then I'm going to take this top part and you can see that it is very pliable and so what I'll do is I'll just mush this all up and make it into some soap dough and add that to the edges of my embed to make it look like a cauldron.
So now that the cauldrons are all made, they are ready to go inside of my soap base. So that is what I'm doing. This is the next day. So same thing, adding my lye to my oils and mixing that up until everything is incorporated. So I'm going to split some of this off into this little container that I've added some purple haze mica and that is from Nurture. Just going with purple swirls here. I don't even know if they're going to be noticeable because these purples are so close together. But I thought purple was what was needed in this. So into the big bucket, I'm going to add some Cheshire Cat and that is also from Nurture. We'll mix these colors in and add our fragrance. The next thing you know, we're going to be pouring into our three pound molds and adding our cauldrons. Exciting. So I've got my fragrance in here. So far these colors are looking very distinct. You can see that there's a darker and a lighter purple. And the fragrance has vanillin in it, so it is probably going to darken up this fragrance even more, or this color purple even more. That is what I am counting on, because I really want these to be like very dark Halloween witch-like purples. So let's mix in this fragrance. I'm going to do a little bit of an in-the-pot swirl before pouring into my molds. Scraping down all my sides, making sure everything is incorporated. Looks good. So the cauldrons, I used this um, clay extruder to create these like long pieces and for the side as well. That way it looks like there's a rim on the cauldron and some little feet. And so I'm just going to place these into this batter that has set up hopefully enough to hold it. And for the top of this, I want to keep it a low top and a short soap. So I have some yellow icing batter that I've had off to the side here. And I'm just going to sprinkle this on the top and smooth it out. I'm channeling broom vibes here. So I got this as close to like a bristle broom color as I could. Just pile this on top. And then I have some cinnamon sticks and some calendula uh, flower petals to put on here to give it that witchy broom look. All right, so I'm gonna stick a cinnamon stick, stick a cinnamon stick on each one of these, on each slice, they will come off when used, but for now they're just supposed to look like I thought little broomsticks. And then I'll sprinkle my calendula all over it. Once I come back tomorrow and unmold this and cut this, I'm actually going to add something else to the front of it. So, not done with this design yet. Loving the botanicals on top of here. I don't do enough botanical soaps and I feel like I should. <laughs> I actually love gathering botanicals too. The other day Bradley and I just had like the perfect weather. It felt like fall even though it was August. We went and got our pumpkin spice lattes from Dunkin Donuts and we went down to the Gunpowder River. It was so nice out. There was a nice breeze. Just perfectly cool weather. We sat down in the gunpowder on a, on a rock in the middle of the river 
and just put our feet in and drank our coffees and just had a nice relaxing day. But on the way back, I like to do a little foraging and I found some jewel weed and I've seen a lot of soapers from um, like Cabin cabin Fever Soaps, I think did one, Soaping 101, my friend Cheryl. They've all done this jewel weed soap and it's great for poison ivy apparently. I've never had any use for it, hopefully I never do. So I was like, heh, I don't need to make that, but you know, it's nice to have in my brain for if I ever do need to make it. But then I found some, you know, I found some on a walk and I was like, heh, why not? Let's make some jewel weed soap and so I, I plucked the plan out and I brought it back home walking down the street with it the neighbor um, stopped her car and was like hey do you want some mint we have a whole bunch of it growing on the side of the house take as much as you want and I was like absolutely so I'm walking back with like pine cones and <laughs> jewelweed and mint and all kinds of things I've just found along the way on our walk so I came home I dried the mint in the dehydrator I put the jewelweed in some water to steep and I just had one of those days where I was like I love all these natural botanicals and I don't usually have the time to get around to them but we just enjoyed a wonderful walk we came across some porcelain berries if you guys have never seen one you might think there's something out of a fairyland at least that's what I think they look like some kind of fairyland berry I'll have to post some pictures of them they are just the most magnificent colors it's almost like it's not real and they're fake but I'd like to grow them in my yard. They're considered an invasive uh, species of plant, and so therefore, you know, a lot of states have actually outlawed them or banned them, and you can't buy them or plant them, but they are so pretty, as long as you can contain it, I guess. All right, so I think that looks good. I'm gonna let this sit for 24 hours, and then I'll come back tomorrow and cut it and we'll put some piping on the front of it as well like some cauldron like bubbles just bubbling out of that cauldron <laughs> cut off an end piece of this and see if we've got a cauldron in here <laughs> Let's see, uh oh, <laughs> magical cauldron side going on up there. Hopefully that doesn't go through the whole entire thing. Ugh. I'm cutting it on its side because those calendula petals will cause drag marks. Oh, there we go, that's better. Double, double toil and trouble. Fire burning cauldron bubble. I love it, I love it so much. It's not done at all. <laughs> I still have to put the little green bubblies on top of there to make it look like that cauldron is boiling over. But I'm super happy with how this soap turned out. It's so cool. I love experimenting and then actually having the soap turn out, right? After I went and Put the calendula petals on and the cinnamon sticks on and turned off the camera i realized i wanted to add a little extra piping on there and that's why i did that and i wish i had that thought before i put the calendula petals on because i was afraid that the icing or the soapy frosting that i stuck on there wasn't going to stick but it looks like it is sticking and it is going to be a broomstick so how fitting right I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some like icing, soap icing together in green. And then I've got some of these like little soapy, soap dough little green bubbles that I'll attach to it as well to make it look like a boiling, bubbling cauldron. Yay! <laughs> I love it. So turned out really well. Smells really good too. This soap will be available on September 27th so you guys can get your hands on it for Halloween. Yay! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe. If you guys are interested in following me on Instagram I post a lot in my stories of like different adventures that we have. All the things that I talk about on here are typically is on my story and you will be able to follow along on all the little adventures that Bradley and I go on. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. And until next time, I hope you all have a very nice day, and I will smell you later.